And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana Lux. It's going to be our next donation deck that we have here. We're going to be going with Demacia, of course, because Shivana and Lux are Demacia cards, but going with Shadow Isles for the other region for some good stuff. We got Curse Keeper with Blighted Caretaker. We know how great that is. Also have Egghead Researcher as another good card to Blighted Caretaker away. So we got that little combination going on here. Unspeakable Horror, just a wonderful card. Um, the Nightfall can also create a dragon for us. There's the uh, Nightfall dragon, um, the Eclipse dragon. So that's so that's possible. So we can get we can get Eclipse dragon in a couple of ways. You know, Egghead Researcher or Unspeakable Horror. Um, but then you know, go into the top end. We got kind of our normal stuff. You know, we, we're going to have single combat, concerted strike to go along with our dragons. Um, we're going to be a Remembrance deck. Lux with Remembrance, definitely very strong. Um, our top end, we got three Vengeance, because Vengeance is just awesome with Lux, how it gives just by itself. It, it will give you the final spark. And then just this metagame has a lot of good targets for Vengeance. There's a lot of, you know, five plus mana units and champions in particular that are good to Vengeance. So I like that. Uh, we got a Spicy Judgment in here to be able to strike a whole bunch of stuff. People may not be expecting us to have and also a rasas speaking of cards people may not be expecting us to have we got a rasa at the top end that's pretty awesome and uh got another dragon in here with stalking broodmother so got a bunch of cool cards here with the seven to eight mana let's hope let's hope they uh, come in at the right time and we get some good situations for them let's go play our five games we're gonna go play five games over in ranked let's see how this deck does Whoa, playing some Braum Poros. So what I'm worried about with this deck... Okay, so Vengeance... I mean, Vengeance will take out Braum. I'll just keep it. Like, we're... This will be fine. Okay, so what I was going to say, what I'm worried about this deck is Daring Poros. And so Unspeakable Horror is perfect, because that's what I'm worried about is Daring Poro. And so I wanted to have good removal for said Daring Poros. Now, I'm kind of planning on playing Remembrance on turn three, so we're passing here. The thing about this is they could have Poros Snacks, which then we start getting into a little bit of a problem with Poros Snacks. Now, let's think this through. So if we go Remembrance turn three, what's our turn four looking like? I guess it's going to be Egghead Researcher and Unspeakable Horror. The problem is we have the attack token turn four. So if we're going to want, if we're going to want a Blighted Caretaker on turn four to take out Daring Poros, we'd have to go Egghead Researcher before that. Let's just pass. We can we can make this decision next turn, I guess. We don't we don't need to do anything brash right now. Okay, so we're not gonna have Blighted Caretaker for next turn. But we have Radiant Guardian to and uh, single combat. We've got those two together. Banish the unworthy. All right, we'll try to banish the unworthy. And then my plan is just play like Egghead Researcher. You've gone and spoke them. Could be a Poro Snacks. I would like them to tap under, you know, spend some mana and not have Poro Snacks available. I get to go Egghead Researcher plus Unspeakable Horror. That's what I would like. Good. No Poro Snacks. Very good. Not the Eclipse Dragon. Whoa. Judgment could be a thing. So I think, so obviously we want to trade before these things get super big, but I think we just go Remembrance now. Maybe I'm supposed to be going Screeching Dragon, but I think this is a good time for Remembrance. I'd like to Blight a Caretaker, the Egghead Researcher, and then they probably know to just like double Poro Snacks. So I could go Onlooker first, but then I'm just playing like a 2-1. 
I'm gonna do that. I don't want them to, you know, maybe so maybe they play out like another blocker. Sorry, onlooker, you, you could have been so much better. I know. All right, looks like their plan is double snacks, unfortunately. We'll put those back to both these three threes down to one health. Oh, wow. No snacks. No snacks at all. Spell shield porobot? Okay. Lifesteal porobot. So 5 4 with judgment would not take down the spell shield, but it would take down the lifesteal. Probably doesn't work. Yeah, I'm kind of more scared of Braum than other things. Yeah, Poros aren't bad. There's a lot of good stuff with Poros. There's a lot of good stuff with Poros. So they just passed to me a little bit ago. Are they going to pass again? Cool. I'm going to have them waste their mana and not let them, you know, have all this mana with Poros snacks and stuff like that. Didn't have, like, the best challenges anyway. Yeah, that is how it has been, right? Like each, yeah, each expansion, Poros gets more things, and they keep on uh, buffing up, you know, slightly, ever so slightly, every now and again. You know, like the like the Poro Herder, now being a two mana two three, like that was a nice buff. Um, yeah, Poros are pretty sweet. They, yeah, they really aren't that far away from being a pretty decent meta deck. Darn, they finally played that, played those. I was hoping they would never play them. Okay. What do we want to do? I kind of want my champions out. 12 mana is not enough for Concerted Strike and Judgment. Come, come, get this way. No, Judgment does not go through Spell Shield, just like, you know, like a Ruination or something like that. Like, the Spell Shield will stop the Judgment. That's a bad sign for me. Because that means they have another uh, Poro Snacks, probably. That was bad. Alright, so we are going to Judgment, the Enveolus Vox, and... Okay, so the Judgment's going to go from, from left to right, so it's going to kill like the 2-3, and then Vox goes to like a 6-7, and then does 6, six damage, and so on. So it does actually kill all of these. <clears throat> I forgot the judgment works like that until, you know, just seeing, seeing that eye. So that's why, even though it, like, it looks like it's five power, it's not just doing five to all of these. It does one at a time. Five grow, six grow, seven grow, eight grow, nine. And so on, so...
Cartridge in. Let's get bigger dragons. They're going big poros, we're going big dragons. Yeah, that, that is a cool interaction, isn't it? <laughs> poros are the dragon snacks. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's not too much downside to playing Lux first. So, I'm going to. And I kind of want to play Shivana. I don't know. Wish we had one more mana and could do both of these, Concerted Strike and Barrier. But yeah, it's like we don't have to just obliterate like an Escaped Abomination. I don't know. I always like attacking weakest to strongest. Uh, come on, pick it up. Can I not pick up Lux? That's weird. There we go. Okay, uh, you can get pulled over. See, like, these things are going to grow a whole bunch. So maybe I go like this and like this. And Swift and Lancer are just going to die. That's how that's going to be. Alright, got more Frostbite. More Catrogens? Man, Enviolus Vox is so cool. <laughs> Creating Catrogens for us. Love it. See, that's going to be the problem. Let's see. Any of y'all have Elusive? Nope. Need to get rid of these elusives. Daring Poro is awesome. Yeah, good thing we got rid of an elusive right there. So if they play anything before combat, we'll be able to go Prismatic Barrier at Burst and then be able to go Cygnus, be able to get some elusives. How can Brom help? Good question. Demacian steel. Try Demacian Should I also have single combat? They can take that down too. But I want to. I want elusive dragons. Come tonight. We'll bring them to justice. Elusive dragons. Wow, Enviolus Vox just spitting out truths over here. Alright, GG's. We're 1-0. That was an awesome dragon judgment. Hey, Big Alfredo. Playing against some burn. This is like we don't have Radiant Guardian in here. That was one thing that I noticed right away. I could see that being problematic. Um, I like this two, four, five. Looking for something to do on like three. Um, Screeching Dragon can maybe try to hold back some Draven Jinx, that kind of stuff with some challenge. Uh, unfortunately, like. Them having the attack token on turn one, three, five is actually a, a pretty big deal. Not, I mean, not only do they get this awesome attack in for three, but then they could attack with Draven on turn three. Turn five, I will not have Screeching Dragon Challenger. The more we learn, the less we fear. That's a big deal. Repost. Time for the main event. It's not Draven, it's Draven! So I'm gonna repost, kill Draven. 
my turn caretaker of this thing. Hey, Big Alfredo, yours was the Soraka deck, right? I think I go Caretaker, because Caretaker takes down Battlecaster and Urchin. Better than Shivana? Yeah, that's probably better than Shivana. Everyone's a god. Yeah, Swain. Okay, cool. I did... We, we talked about it in, in chat and everything. We did change a little... We did change the deck up a little bit. I hope you're not mad at that. That's what, you know, we were hoping that you wouldn't mind... We just changed a, a, you know, a few things. I don't know, like, you know, like five to eight cards or something like that. Um, you know, kind of like on my experiences with, with, uh, Sir, you know, Vladimir Soraka deck, very, very similar uh, to to what you had there. Um, and I was, I was happy with the changes, but. You know, it's still just a... I just haven't really seen a Soraka deck do well. Um, so it didn't do the best, but... Our first two games were both good games. They were both very... You know, like, they were both good, close games. Back and forth. And then the other three were just... Um, these kind of, like, discard burn aggro decks that just... That just killed us really fast. Just like, basically... Like, I think we played... I think we played against discard burn either all three games or two of the three... And the other one was like pirate burn. Okay, good. I'm I'm glad. Glad you don't mind that we changed some stuff. This discard burn deck's super good. Yeah, right. All right, one and one. So I guess we keep Vengeance for Trundle. I don't want the other stuff. Yeah, that deck, yeah, you, you gotta have a lot of like, you know, avalanches, withering whales make it rains that kind of stuff but then and then also the ability to take down jinx as well not an easy deck to beat but like a deck like my opponent's playing right here this is going to be a deck that has the tools for that kind of deck like they're probably gonna have, like they should at least they should have like three avalanche three withering whale a good amount of unspeakable horror and vile feast um, grass the undying and vengeance for the champions they should be playing all those cards. To the field. So Screeching Dragon doesn't really help against Trundle. Mini dragon, the one banner. Play that afterwards. The War Mother will unite us all. I guess I'll just kill one of these. Other option was Remembrance. You ain't got get no blocka. I don't think I want to try to repost or anything. We're just going to keep them from getting, you know, healing their nexus for all that. <clears throat> now we can Remembrance. I hope they don't have Ruination. So I am putting another thing out here. 
That's a great draw. Because they do have Ruination, we got Lux at least, so that, that's a good draw. Darn. I was certainly hoping they did not have Ruination, though. That plus Vengeance is a problem. If only they had one less health. If they had one less health, if they had five, if they're at five, I would play Shivana, they Ruination, and then I play Caretaker Repost. Oh, wait, wait, can I go Caretaker, Caretaker? No, I need one, oh, man, I need one more mana for Shivana, Caretaker, Caretaker. So is it worth playing Shivana? Like, they're probably not gonna have a second Ruination, right? I think it's such so so much more likely they have vengeance in a second ruination. Dragon's rage claws to get out. Now I don't, I don't the problem with swing and repose, you know, just just attack repost is Forward vengeance. I just think it's pretty likely they had vengeance. Much more likely than ruination. There you are. See you, Shivana. You did good. Died a hero. All right, GG's, two and one. Twisted Swain. What we got? All right, the Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker combo, and we have the attack token turn three. That is great, hello. Um, I will keep Lux also, Lux is cool. And draw another Lux, I guess. Another Caretaker. Not the best draw so far. There we go. Getting better. That's fine. I guess we're just passing. Missed out on like one damage. Like it's just not doesn't make a lot of sense to caretaker right there. Soak it in. That and All or nothing. Let's see if they have. You know, they're sure they have something else to kill Shivana. Ooh, I like that. That's a good draw. There you are. So they do try to kill Shivana. We can sacrifice Shivana so they don't start level. You know, they don't get more damage towards leveling up their Swain. Awesome. Got to attack. Hmm. All right, so I guess with the Glimpse Beyond, it's worth sacrificing the 4-3. Uh, they're both 4-3s. The Escaped Abomination more than the Shivana. So they get they get the 4 damage for the Ravenous Flock, but I don't think they, they don't even get an auction fervor, I don't think. Oh man. Because, like, the Fervor should just. Oh no, they still did the three damage with the Fervor. Darn. Alright, but we, we still killed multiple things. So, let's go Remembrance. Because if this would have died also, which that's what I was hoping. I was hoping that, that, you know, like, especially after finding these, if that would have died, we could have just gone double Remembrance this turn. Like, that would have been super crazy. We could have just had two Remember. Remember I? That would have died. So basically I should have just if I would have just glimpsed beyond my 2-1, they would have got they would have had leveled up Swain, but lost a fair game. Or played one. Who says I don't share? I'm just going to go with Lux. Hopefully no more Ravenous Flocks. Oh, they just drew it. 
So do I go Lux's Prismatic Barrier? I still have five mana left, so I have Curse Keeper plus Blighted Caretaker. We're in this, together. this is a mid-range deck. So either go Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker, or Remembrance. I guess it's Remembrance. Remembrance we get the final spark as well. I do love Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker here. My but this means that we get the final spark here, and now if they go Leviathan next turn and we Vengeance Leviathan, then we get another final spark. And everything like that. So I want to attack first, because if they have the third Twisted Fate, I don't want to... They have four mana for, for Twisted Fate, so I don't want to shoot Twisted Fate. Then they play third Twisted Fate and Gold Card. Which I guess the Gold Card will only hit the Lux, not the Greyhorn Companion anyway. Alright, two out of eight. We should be able to get another final spark and, and you know we'll be able to kill this twisted fate first. Going for the spray fin so they don't have the easy riptide rex. So that worked out for me. Riptide rex is the basically the only way we're losing this game. I don't think there's too much else that's gonna be killing us. So I don't need to worry about the eight mana card, so do I need to worry about having vengeance available or should I just start playing these things? If I play Screeching Dragon and Curse Keeper, we save one mana. So next turn we have ten total, so I'll have Caretaker and Vengeance. Just pass. It does hurt. Going to the light. That does hurt very much. I guess that's that's a way we can lose too, because. It's a way for them to kill my Lux. Good thing they're not playing Noxion Guillotine. Noxion Guillotine. Uh, would have been a lot better here. Killing the Greyhorn Companion also. Another Lux. Everyone's a garden. I hope they go Leviathan. Boo. So, if they went Leviathan, I was going to go Vengeance. They don't go Leviathan. I'm just going to be playing this other Lux. Challenge is there. If I challenge here, they block my 4 3 take 7. Yeah, I could have entered the Swain. I wasn't, as, wasn't nearly as scared of Swain. Uh, they block the 4 3 take 7. If I block, if I do here. So yeah, no, it, it just makes sense to just do that. I can block the 4 3 take 7. Um, I'll Alternatively, I don't have to attack with these. No, it, it makes sense too. Okay, yeah. We're gonna... I'm coming this way. Oh. Okay. Lock the two one. I'm keeping out of Screeching Dragon range. But that gives me another fearsome blocker. Yeah, I'm just not I'm not just not that scared of swing. I the other thing is, if I play the Vengeance there instead of the Lux, like I'd rather have I'd rather have Lux in play, so that we're getting final sparks, right? Like that's what I want. Lux in play, we get final sparks. I 
attack. This is looking like a pretty good win for us. Looking like a pretty good win. GG's, we are three and one. Can we do it again? Good test. Can we do it again? Yeah, I'm gonna keep all this. We're gonna have Remembrance on three, and then turn four, we're gonna have options. We're gonna either play Shivana, if it looks like we're, we should play Shivana, or we can go Egghead Researcher with Unspeakable Horror back up. Yeah, if we can if we can win twice in a row, that that will against this deck. That would be real big. We want to see the tough. Vanguard Cavalry. 5-5 five, five, tough. That's the hardest thing for them to kill. Let's soak up the most damage. Decided about which which line to go. I this is Shivana. Expecting Twisted Fate Gold card, not Twisted Fate. They are nothing. Mega Rain most likely means a Ravenous Flock. Sad. Oh, come on. Two. Okay, I was gonna say two ravenous flocks. But still, that's just as bad. So, at least it did take them a make it rain, a make it rain, a ravenous flock, and a 3 2 to kill my two dragons. So, you know, we did trade. Four for two, so you know we're up two cards from that exchange, and yeah, that's you can that is um, shown in the cards in hand. They have five, I have seven. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpentine. I'll play the egghead researcher. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. They don't want to attack. That's cool too. We'll go to our turn. Keep our three spell mana. I have the scars to prove it. So we have Remembrance making a Screeching Dragon. We have Egghead Researcher making a Screeching Dragon. We're playing Screeching Dragon, but it doesn't even seem like it. A lot more mana over there. Okay, they, they're just passing also, not using their mana. I don't feel like double night falling. Hmm. Ask me about dragon. I just may have an answer. Ooh. I kind of think it's single combat dragon on spray fin this turn. I don't want them getting this free nexus damage. No, we can we'll kill Twisted Fate another way. Oh, we got some options. So, no, okay. So, we're going to want Vengeance next turn because they could have Leviathan. So, we're going to want Vengeance for Leviathan. So, that's what my next turn is going to be. All right. I'm just going to cast this. Which, I guess, if, if we're going to have Vengeance for Leviathan, maybe that means I'm not going to be able to kill Twisted Fate. Potentially, if they would have, you know, Ravenous Flock for Screeching Dragon. Where I can. 
Expecting Screeching Dragon not to make it. Lancer's harder to kill. This is probably a Riptide Rex. Then I, they go Riptide Rex, I go Rasa. Good, Rasa. <laughs> oh, these emotes are good. And we haven't even been using like our unspeakable horrors to get multiple cards yet. Keep up, keep up. Definitely a feels good when you're able to. This is one you're able to like like they have a Riptide Rex turn that blows everything up and then you're you're still able to um you know match them card for card. Basically same turn. There's the four seven, mine's a seven five. Advantage us. Um I just gonna keep my two spell mana. So probably a Swain's Ravenous Flock. They haven't had Ravenous Flock before, so this is probably a Swain's Ravenous Flock. We'll have Glimpse Beyond, if that's the case. Uh, I was hoping a Swain's Ravenous Flock, so they would just be gone as Swain. But regular Ravenous Flock. It was looks like that was the card that Zaps Brayfin went and found. So while I want to play, let's see, Brew Mother, like I want to play like Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker, all this stuff, but I, I am definitely worried about Leviathan. So like I want to keep Vengeance up for Leviathan. Um, no, no more Ravenous Flocks. They can still have Swain's Ravenous Flocks though. So what if we play Brood Mother? I guess this is still good against Leviathan because they can't really block. It's a lot of damage. Destination in sight. Bring these lands to their Return fire! Okay, or they can block. There you are. Or they can block. So you know we'll we'll challenge both of these with our saplings. So got rid of a Leviathan, didn't need to play uh, our Vengeance. Still get to hold on to Vengeance and got rid of Leviathan. That worked out well. Approaching the battlefront. This card's tough to kill. Alright, so no Leviathan. Yeah, I just kind of want to see what we get with this Unspeakable Horror as far as the Nightfall card goes. We got three pair. I like that. Sounds good. I've whipped up something special. Do not have repost anymore for Rasa. Um, 
you know, if this is like a Mega Rain or whatever, then we'll Unspeakable Horror the Powder Keg. No, 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 no! Stand strong! I'll just pass priority. We'll just hold on to this mana for spell mana so I can keep Unspeakable Horror available on this. I don't want to like play Curse Keeper and then this does something crazy. <laughs> uh, another Stalking Broodmother. Let's do it. So looking good. And that would have been the, the something crazy I was talking about. So that's probably game. Like I I'll be surprised if their one card is gonna slow us down with us having repost. And GG's! That'll finish out a 4-1. There we go. That, that'll finish out the 4-1 the with another win against Twisted Fate, Swain. Wow, this deck was really impressive. Yeah, what a good showing. Um... Yeah, just look at, like, we still had all of that stuff in hand. Um, and they had their sixth Ravenous flock there. Or, I guess it's the fifth, maybe fifth Ravenous flock. Three regular ones and two Swains. But yeah, this this deck played really, really well. Nothing that I that I would think that you'd want to, to change or anything. Um, I think that the Stalking Broodmother probably is my least favorite card in the deck, but it still, it, you know, performed well against Leviathan. And having blighted caretaker backup but it, everything else like the other 38 i like the ross is cool the judgment's cool i like i like having just like a random card that just wrecks these decks going wide and a random card that that wrecks riptide wrecks i like that discard aggro is still probably gonna be kind of tough like we had a good hand against discard aggro and they just annihilated us and killed us on like turn five like turn four turn five something like that um, and our hand wasn't even bad. So there's, there is that. And so maybe you gotta be better against discard aggro. So maybe like stalking broodmother needs to be radiant guardian. The curse keeper was perfectly fine. I mean, we, we did draw curse keepers late game quite a bit, but curse keeper is perfectly fine. You know, like it's, it's great with blighted caretaker. You can kill it with unspeakable horror or glimpse beyond. I, I think it's perfectly fine. I don't think you need to take that out. I think it makes caretaker so much better. I no, I think it was good. I think it was good. I think that's the only thing that I'd maybe say is we gotta gotta maybe shore up like discard aggro seems like that would be pretty rough matchup and that could be something to maybe do is play radiant guardian instead of stalking broodmother um, I know it gives you more fives but you know it's only your second five too many fives with radiance you put in brood but I think it's just it's just too valuable in those aggro matchups right like it's gonna be something that you just have to you just have to have um yeah so i i feel like i feel like that's that's what it is oh the person that we just that we just played against um came in here and says i'm a brazilian player follow you on youtube it was a plane playing against you was a pleasure that's awesome thank you so much and yeah if i yep um yeah so i i think that's that's the one change i would make probably is just take out brood mother put in radiant guardian all right, uh, there we go. That's Shivana Lux. This deck was awesome. That was really cool. That was fun to play. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Shivana Lux, and I'll see you for the next video.